Hey, welcome to Construction Zone Online. I'm Pastor Marcus. I have a whole panel of experts for me today. We're talking about the, f but spring is in the air. I want to find out from these guys, what is your favorite part of spring? Start with you, Jones. I like that we can play outside and that um, you can, we can grow plants. Mm -hmm. What about you, Noel? Uh, I like that. As well as the fact that like everything's growing, everything's sprouting, just everything looks like it's it's been redeemed, new again, and yeah, we get to play outside. Right. What about you? Uh, that there's baby animals. Baby animals, yeah. Everyone loves baby animals. What about you? That it's Easter. Easter. Easter's a big part of spring. What about you, Oates? I like that it's warm outside and you get to play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, spring is so cool because it's a time of new birth and new life. Animals are having babies, the grass is turning green again, buds are growing on the trees, flowers are growing. Uh, it's a time of new birth. We're going to be talking about Easter today. And um, <coughs> what does Easter have to do with new birth? Because Jesus, we celebrate his birth at Christmas time. Easter time is about his death and resurrection. What does that have to do with new birth? <coughs> yeah. Um, it's after he was, when Jesus was crucified, he rose from the dead three days after. Yeah. And so he had new life there, right? He died and he came back to life. And what does that have to do with us? Why is that new life for us? Because because he died, he... He saved us from our sins. He took the punishment for us. So we can be born again. We can go to heaven. That's right. That's right. So uh, as we, we begin our new episode, oh, I, I have a little, uh, what kind of animal do I have here, guys? Pig. Pig. A little pig. He represents all those baby animals that are born in the springtime. Baby birds, baby sheep, baby chicks. He's so cute. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. All right, so so I hope after you watch this video, guys, go outside, enjoy the sunshine if you got it yet, um, jump in some puddles, jump rope, do something great, um, enjoy this season, because spring is a wonderful time, but also enjoy your new life with Jesus. We got a puppet show with Fergie and Stuart, isn't it, this time? And we've got a Bible story about when Jesus rose again, and then we'll finish it up after that. So we'll see you on the other side. Come on. Bye. 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 <laughs> All right. Good job, guys. Start, I have a secret. What is it? Remember when we painted Easter eggs? You betcha. That was just two months ago. We were at Milo's house. That sure was fun. Then we had the Easter egg hunt afterwards. And everybody got to keep the eggs they found. That's where my secret comes in. Did you find an ostrich egg? Nope. Did your egg hatch? Can't hatch. They're boiled. Well, I'm running out of ideas. I had one very special egg that I decorated. It was pink and green and purple. Just beautiful. I remember how much you liked it. Well, I saved it. It's right here in my pencil box. You saved it? You didn't eat it? It was so pretty and I was so proud. I hid it in my sack drawer. Fergie, I'm not sure you should open that box. What do you mean? I mean, it's been two months. It's a rotten egg. It's a beautiful egg. Not anymore. Nonsense, take a look. <coughs> <coughs> oh, that's terrible. It's absolutely poisonous. I don't get it. What happened? It's ruined, Fergie. But it was so beautiful. You know, that reminds me of God's gift of salvation. Jesus died for our sins and rose from the dead. It's a beautiful story. The most remarkable story of all. But if you just enjoy the story and leave it at that, he missed the most important part. Jesus died and rose for you. Don't waste the gift God gave you. You can enjoy walking with him today. I didn't eat the egg and I didn't get to look at it anymore either. Kids, don't forget this wonderful gift of Jesus 
is not just a nice story, it's your way of salvation. Receive God's gift. Make this the most important resurrection day of your life. What should I do now? Just throw that nasty egg in the trash. I have some chocolate we can eat. Do you guys like the puppet show? Yeah! What did Fergie do with it, with her Easter egg? She kept it. She kept, she kept, kept it. it. In and a what, pizza box. And what happened to it? It got, it got really nasty. nasty. It got yeah, stinky. That's right. You know, um, in this is the story of Fergie is actually based on something that really happened to me. I had an Easter egg that I really liked, and I didn't want anyone to eat it. I didn't want to eat it myself. I wanted to keep it so I could look at it. And I put it way in the back of the refrigerator. We found it later, and it had turned black. And it was kind of slimy where it was the most black and it was really stinky. It was turned to a rotten hard boiled egg. It was really nasty. So we just threw it away, right? Because it was no good for anything now. Yeah. Not to look at, not to eat, nothing. And, and you know that, for me that's a really illustration of a, a gift, a beautiful gift that Jesus gave us. But, but just saying, oh, it's really beautiful and not doing anything with it. Because Jesus died on the cross and he rose again. Not, to, not just to say, look, look how lovely I can be for you guys, but he wants us to receive him as our Savior. And so, um, so he didn't just die on the cross for our sins, but he rose again, showing us that, um, that we, we could have new life too, that we'll someday rise again too and be with him in heaven. So we're going to watch a little Lego Bible story about that. So go ahead, Emma. Everybody say it. Roll, roll, roll. 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 Joseph of Arimathea was a secret disciple of Jesus. When Jesus was crucified, Joseph wanted to do one last act of love for him. He called Pilate for Jesus' body so he could give him a good burial. He and Nicodemus wrapped Jesus in 75 pounds of perfume and spices and linen cloth. They brought Jesus to Joseph's own tomb and laid him to rest. And Joseph and Nicodemus rolled the stone in front of the tomb to seal it. Two of Jesus' followers, both named Mary, watched them from across the garden. The Pharisees also went to Pilate. Sir, when Jesus was alive, he said that in three days he would rise again. Please send someone to guard the tomb for three days, or else his disciples will steal the body and say he's been risen from the dead. That would be most terrible. Go ahead and send up the squad of soldiers, Pilate told them. On Sunday morning, there was a violent earthquake. An angel came down from heaven. He looked like lightning and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid they shook and fell down as if they were dead. The angel rolled away the stone and sat upon it. Jesus conquered sin and death, just like he said he would. On Sunday morning, Mary Magdalene and her friend came to the tomb to anoint Jesus' body, not knowing who would move the stone for them. When they arrived, Mary found that the stone had already been rolled away. They saw two angels. One said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here. He is risen. Quickly, go tell his disciples. The women ran back to tell the disciples. Mary Magdalene went to tell Peter and John, who ran back to the tomb. Peter went inside first and saw the cloth that Jesus was wrapped in, but not Jesus. They finally understood what Jesus and the prophecies had said. Jesus must rise from the dead. They went home full of joy. I guess Mary wasn't sure what to believe because she stood outside the tomb crying. She turned and saw someone standing there. Dear woman, he said, why are you crying? Mary thought it was the gardener. Sir, she said, if you have taken him away, please tell me where you have put him. I will go and get him. Mary, the man said, it was Jesus. She turned to him and said, teacher, don't hold on to me, Jesus said, for I, have, I haven't yet gone to the father, but go find my brothers and tell them. I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and to your God. Mary did what Jesus told her. Jesus, her Lord, was alive. All right. Well, isn't that an incredible story? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Yes. That Jesus died on the cross, but he didn't stay dead. Three days later, he rose again. All right. And, and Jesus' followers were excited. We were celebrating that, that he rose, that, that he really was the Son of God. And you and I, boys and girls watching today, we also have the opportunity to become followers of Jesus. 
And that's why we celebrate Easter. We like to have fun with chocolate bunnies and Easter eggs and all that stuff, but that's not the point. The point is that Jesus died on the cross, he rose again, and, and he paid for your sins so that you can have eternity with him, and you can begin a relationship with him today. And so we're going to pray a simple prayer, um, and you can pray with us. The, my, my crew here is going to repeat, and you can repeat with us a simple prayer, just asking Jesus to forgive us of our sins, all right? So, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father thank, you thank you that you sent Jesus to die on the cross. He didn't stay dead, but he rose again. Thank you for paying for my sins. Thank you for paying for my sins. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Wash away my sins. Wash away my sins. And help me to follow you. And help me to follow you. Thank you that you've made me a part of your family. Thank you that you made me a part of your family. In Jesus' name I pray. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 All right. Well, thanks for, for being a part of us today. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Construction Zone Online. Bye! Bye! -bye. Jesus died for our sins and rose from the dead.